just wanted to make a video because I just had a big win. Um, so I've been soldering for um, just over a year now. And um, I just completed my first board swap, bottom board swap on a XS Max. Um, and I'm gonna explain this to uh, to you like you don't know what this is because a lot of people won't. Basically, with iPhone X and newer, what you have is a board that's um, pieced together. There are two halves. The top board, this is an iPhone X board. I'm just gonna use this as an example. Oops. You've got a top board like this, and you've got a bottom board, like that. And you can see these tiny little dots around the outside on this part, which is called an interposer, and they connect the top and the bottom together. What happens with the hard drops, a lot of times with people with broken screens, broken back glass, they have issues with cellular not working. And what happens, because the bottom board has your baseband, Wi-Fi, um, and uh, NFC, basically these things stop working because these connections from the bottom to the top uh, get cracked and separate. Um, sometimes you can solve this by simply reballing, it's called, uh, basically warming this back up or heating this back up and re-securing it back together. Other times what happens is the interposer here splits away from this thin layer on the bottom. When that happens, you have to do a board swap, which is what I just completed on this XS Max. So on the XS Max, this is the old board. And what I did was I pulled off this chip right here, which was baseband. And that's, you know, smaller than a, than a dime. Uh, there's a tiny little EEPROM here that holds some data for it. I had to transfer that over. And then this Wi-Fi chip here, transferred over. And so to test that, basically before, when you went into settings, about, you were missing modem firmware right here 4.02.02 uh, and that was gone and it would constantly search for service instead of saying no sim and it would say that a uh, cellular update is required in order to make or receive calls um, the, those are the common symptoms so in this case it did require the full bottoms bottom board swap um, and, and this is just a really exciting thing for me, so I wanted to kind of document it. What I've got here is a jig. Um, the jig allows me, because it's a big process to solder these two parts together, the jig allows me to test before completely soldering it together. So you put the bottom in here. This acts as like a secondary interposer. So instead of soldered connection, you'll be able to put that like this. That like that and then clamp it together with that I'm not gonna actually clamp it together actually why not we'll clamp it together like so and then you're able to test it so that's what I've got set up here just connecting the necessities battery charge port um, and screen so that I could test that our Wi-Fi and our um, uh, base band is working. Um, just one second. So, yes, this is kind of a design flaw. There, there's some pros and cons to these um, dual layer boards. When you consider this is what the, this is an iPhone 6 board, it's an old dead board. Um, when you consider the size and space that they take up and you're trying to, you know, add more features had bigger, uh, bigger, better features, naturally the boards get bigger. So, you know, the 8 Plus board is, gets longer and bigger. And at a certain point, 
they needed more space for Face ID and they needed more space for this huge battery. And so, you know, something like this wasn't going to fit. And uh, this is an XS Max housing, so that's the larger housing. So you can imagine, imagine on their smaller phone, so it's just a regular X, they're going to have even less space. So here's a X housing, right? They're going to have even less space. You have a smaller battery. Um, so they came up with the idea of, of stacking two boards on top of each other, which was pretty, pretty smart. Um, but with hard drops and falls, the one downside is um, the need for a bottom board swap like we're seeing here. Um, yeah, so just wanted to document that. I think it's really, really cool um, that I'm able to do this sort of thing. It's taken me some time to get here, but um, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions about the process. Um, shout out to ProFixer, uh, the course that I took uh, to start learning all of this. Um, it was an investment in, uh, in this skill um, and an investment in myself. And it's uh, been, been an amazing thing. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.